Hey, hey, okay, so I'm here talking about that new Velma show everybody and their mother's been talking about. Oh my god, this show is a disaster, guys. An unmitigated disaster. This Mindy Kaling and her grubby little fingers and her fucking ego couldn't just leave well enough alone. No, she had to re literally bastardize and ruin an entire, a wholesome, entirely loved series. I don't even love, I don't even really like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I, I, I could say that. I don't really care. I, mean, I didn't give a shit about Scooby-Doo. I didn't. I, I was I was way too young to re give a shit about Scooby-Doo. I, I saw the movies. Uh, they're all right. <laughs> I saw the animated movies. They're sort of okay from what I remember. I don't know. I'm just not, not a fan. But, geez, can I, can I, like, I know when a show has just been utterly destroyed in every way possible. I, I'm ha I would even have a, a, a hard time finding out what to even say about this show. Really trying to express just how horrible it is. Saying it's bad isn't good enough. Every single solitary thing of this show is absolutely terrible. The internet is conjoined in this feeling. <laughs> whether you're left, whether you're right, whether you're, it doesn't matter what your political leanings are. Everybody is together in co-signing that yes, uh, this show is bad. Uh, destroy this show forever. No season two. If there is a season two of this show, I would have lost all hope in humanity, and I will have blown my brains out by that time. <laughs> okay, what can I even say about it? You probably don't even know already. Everything about the. I'm gonna get this out of the way. It's one of the most hated things I could ever think about. This show is just meta. This show is all meta. It goes a million miles a minute into the meta. It just doesn't fucking stop. Every scene, every piece of dialogue, all the characters, the plot itself, it's nuts. It's fucking nuts how meta this show is. All the jokes, everything. You know, subtext. You, know, you guys know what subtext is? There's no subtlety in the plot or the dialogue. There's no subtext at all. It doesn't exist. Characters constantly explaining everything about themselves at every moment possible they can. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I thought, I thought She-Hulk was bad. I thought She-Hulk was bad in that respect. Velma's worse. It's actually worse. I didn't think it could happen. It just keeps fucking going. It just keeps going. It doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. I've never seen so many characters completely change from their wholesome beginnings. Hanna-Barbera is rolling in his fucking grave. These aren't the Scooby-Doo. This isn't the gang, right? This isn't the mystery gang. The mystery machine isn't, isn't there. Scooby-Doo isn't in there. Shaggy's not there. <laughs> now, they're constantly... Constantly changing these characters as a way to subverse our expectations of the previous reiterations of Scooby-Doo. Like Norville and how his one, two, tra two traits. One, he's obsessed with Velma and can never fuck her. Two, he hates drugs. Because we all know he's not even actually Shaggy. Norville. He's not. He's a completely different person, but they're still basing it off of Shaggy. It's fucking stupid. There's only two character traits. Most characters here have only two traits. V Velma, annoying and smart. Okay. Or, or hated. She has another one. She has three. Fred, a man-child and a pussy. Daphne, hot and Asian. The stereotype. Mindy, I don't know what Mindy Kaling, how did she even get this property? How was she able, Mindy Kaling of all fucking people, why is she the one that is heading up this project? How and why? How did this happen? I really want to know how she, like, she must have blackmail on like about a thousand people in order for them to like put this out there on HBO. I feel sorry for the animators. If there's like maybe one good thing about the show is that the animators put some kind of effort into drawing and storyboarding the animation of the scenes. Now they're not good. I wouldn't say they're good. I wouldn't say the art style is good, but that is, that at least has some kind of effort. I can't say that for anything else. I can't say that for the writing, the dialogue, even the scene direction, the sound design. I can't say anything other. It's all horrible. At least and I feel bad for them because they have to have their credit on this fucking show. And this is just a job. It's like 
this is just a job for them to like, possibly get another future job working on some other project that might be worthwhile for them in the future. It can maybe like <laughs> upgrade their reputation somewhat in some way possible. Why does this show exist? What did you, but what did you do, Mindy? How did you do it? And it's never, it's like, again, I thought She-Hulk was bad. Mindy Kaling is just constantly, I've never seen a show so so fucking bad at this. It's it's never ending. She is constantly projecting her own ego, bleeding it into the script. I thought Willow was bad at it. I thought The Witcher was bad at it. She-Hulk, uh, Halo. There are a bunch of other new TV shows and movies that have this problem. But no, Velma is the absolute worst of it. It's like Mindy is Velma. <laughs> she, her entire uh, gripe with humanity and her past are just shuffled into that one character and it's just bleeding everywhere all the other characters too honestly it's just bleeding all over the canvas of this show and it's fucking ridiculous it's maddening fucking maddening there's no other way for me to describe it watching the show uh, no humor at all didn't laugh once of course but how could i i was bewildered bewildered by what was happening on screen my eyes were stabbing themselves <laughs> i had no control over my own body autonomously i couldn't do it my eyes did it themselves it was ri ridiculous absolutely ridiculous there's almost nothing I can really say about the show, honestly, other than it's, that it's horrible. I hate the characters. I hate the plot. Everything's random as fuck. It's so unbelievably meta and trying to be subversive in every way possible that it, it's cringe to the highest degree. There's no subtlety. There's no context at all, subtext at all. It's incredibly bland, annoying. I mean, there's there's no there's really no sense to even go over both of these episodes and just explain to you what happens to them. It's almost like I can't even figure out what happened to the episodes cuz there's no co there's there's no consistency. There's no coherence between any of the scenes really. It's madness. This show is just utter fucking madness. And to be what? Just edgy? Just to be an edgy version of Scooby-Doo that no one wanted? Who was your who is your target audience, Mindy? Is it really teenagers? Is it really like 16 to 18 year olds of this era? If it is, I feel bad for them. This is the show? This is the Scooby-Doo show they're gonna fucking get? This piece of shit? Fucking Velma? Who is it? It couldn't possibly be for kids because there's sex scenes. Not overtly sex scenes. They're being edgy without actually being edgy. It's softcore porn bullshit. If they wanted to be edgy, Mindy, just go all the way, you sick fuck. <laughs> you, you know they wanted to, but they tried to do it anyway. In the first scene, they're a bunch of fucking high school girls naked in the shower. What are you fucking doing? You mindless tramp. <laughs> You're nothing, Mindy. Absolutely nothing. Your career will smolder and die after this. Absolutely. And I will have been proud to be a part of that. Be a part of the, the zeitgeist, which absolutely destroys you. Because you do not deserve it. <laughs> you don't. You absolutely don't. My rant's over. I don't care anymore. Do not waste your fucking time. Don't do it. I implore you. I beseech you. Don't waste your time. I beg you, please. Okay, that's it. I'm done. You guys have a good day. See ya.